Yeah, what's up guys? I am Flash Isaac and today I will be taking you through compound interest. Welcome to my mathematics class. A few minutes ago, I recorded a video, I recorded a video on simple interest. Now, in simple interest, the principal, the money you borrow or the amount invested is fixed. So for every year, you keep paying fixed interest on that particular capital. The capital doesn't change. But compound interest is different. In compound interest, interest is paid on interest. So your, in your capital changes and your interest grows. It's reinvesting your interest. For example, if you, if you take a loan of 100 Naira from bank, in simple interest, if you agree to pay 6%, 6% yearly. So for the second year, for two years, the interest will remain so the six percent of 100 naira is simply six naira so in simple interest is that easy so your interest remain but for compound interest if i take a loan of 100 naira from gt bank in compound interest the amount for the first year after the first year amount is equals principal plus interest so let's say the interest is six percent so amount at the end of the first year will be a hundred plus six percent six over hundred this will give you hundred plus zero point zero six this will give you one oh six so this is the amount for the first year now the amount for the second year is this is a new principal is amount for second year is equals principal the new principal which is one o six plus interest so the interest is now on this new principal. So let's look for the interest on 106. The interest on 106 is 6 over 100 times 106. This will give you 0 0.06 times 106. So this is your interest on 106 Naira. So the interest is added to this principal. So 106 plus 6.36 will give you 11. 2.36 this is your amount at the end of the second year now for the third year for the third year the new amount amount will be uh this your principal plus interest on this principal so that's why compound interest you earn interest on interest it's not the same for si uh, simple interest now we can also solve this using formula if you are solving for amount let's say let's solve for amount after Two years on 100 Naira principal. If you are solving for this using this formula, amount is equals principal bracket. This is for this because compound interest is amount minus principal. So this will give us 101 plus 6 over 100 raised to power 2. So we are solving for amount after two years on. 100 Naira principal and 6% interest. This will give you 100 So now this uh, 100 times this will give you a 112.36 Now you can see that 112.36 that is the same amount we got the 112.36 That means you can solve compound interest with or without calculator So let's see a question Look at this question. It says the compound interest on 500 Naira for two years at 6% per annum is. Now look at this. Solution. The principal P is equals 500 Naira. Now we are asked to look for the compound interest. Recall that the compound interest is amount minus principal. 
Like I said, we can solve this with calculator or without calculator. If we are solving without calculator, we simply say for the first year, the amount is simply 500 naira plus 6% of 500 naira amount plus interest. But if you don't still understand the normal wisdom method, just go with the formula. So compound interest is simply amount minus principal. And this is the formula for amount. So to solve for amount in this question, we simply substitute because principal is 500 naira. One plus interest is uh, 6%. 6 percent. 6 over 100. This of power n is the uh, number time, number of time or period, and here is two years. Square minus principal, which is 500 naira. So this is simply 500 naira. 1 plus 0 0.06 square minus 500. This is simply 500 1.06 square minus 500. This is simply 1.8 minus 500 should give you 61 to give you 5.61.8 minus 500 should give you 61.8 so that's your uh, compound interest 61.8 amount minus principal uh, thanks for watching subscribe to this channel and feel free to check out my other videos